Daniel, in, in your big but twisted brain, <laughs> the robot apocalypse um, starts with an AI named Arcos R14 that's accidentally unleashed on humanity. So, so what is Arcos? Is he, is he a robot or is he AI? And, and I mean, what are the differences between those two things? Sure, I definitely think of him as an AI, an artificial intelligence, because he's not embodied in the real world. And so I think a robot has to have some sort of embodiment um, so that you know, it can operate in, a, in a, the real world. So it's got to sense the world, think about what to do, and then act in the real world. Um, so Arcos is an AI. And as a result, you know, it's sort of like writing Hannibal Lecter or Sherlock Holmes. I mean, you have to write this character that's smarter than any human being who ever lived, which pretty tough, you know, if you're a human being. So I just kind of wave my hands at it and, uh, and, and try to keep him as a mysterious character because he's understanding events that are occurring in a way that no human can understand it. And that also kind of creates a fundamental disconnect between the AI and, and any living creature, you know? Um, so it's definitely a fun area to explore.